Welcome to a tutorial from Equator.com. This tutorial covers Casio Scientific Calculators FX115ES and Casio FX991ES plus C. Hello, in this tutorial we are going to use this Casio calculator to find the value of x or solve for x uh, in this uh, polynomial of second degree. To do that we press mode button and then uh, for equation we press 5. Here are the options. This number 3 is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 is this equation. This is a square, ax squared plus bx. The coefficient is a. The coefficient of this x is b. And this constant is c. So we press 3. And this screen we have a, b, and c. a, the coefficient of x is 1. I press 1 and then equal sign. And for b is 2. And the constant c is minus 8. We press this minus and then 8. As soon as we press the equal sign, uh, we will get we'll get x 1 equal 2 and then press it again. x2 is equal minus 4. Now uh, we can go up and down to see them again but if you want to evaluate another equation simply so this is the x maximum and x y minimum uh, this is extra information that's provided so we can come back to the screen and enter another value for for these values this x1 if we subtract both sides uh, with minus one so we'll have minus 2 equals 0 and the same thing if we add 4 to both sides so x2 plus 4 equals 0 so we have x minus 2 and then we have x plus 4 that is this value if we multiply this we'll get that back that value now let's do another one so for this one in this in the in that in this case as you can see we don't have the second term x without a power so we don't have that x so in that case the value of a is 1 b is 0 so let's do that so a is 1 b is 0 i press 0 and then equal sign and it moves and then 1. When I press final answer, the answer is x1 is equal i and x2 is equal minus i. That's an imaginary number. So these two values, the two imaginary numbers, are represented here so we can add them together to get back the same number so if I subtract both side by i so this value would be x minus i and for this one we will have x plus i to expand it x times x x squared we have plus i x and then we have minus i x the minus times plus is minus and then we have i squared so x squared this goes with this and then we have minus we know that i squared is equal minus one so we have minus one now x squared minus times minus plus one which was the answer that we got. Now, let's do the third one. In this case, we have, again, uh, we have no constant. So I'm pressing equal sign again. 
to get that here so now we have one and b is five and c is zero if i press this we get x minus five and then x zero so what is this information and how can i get that this when x is zero and x is equal five so here are my values let me move that So we have x1 equal minus 5, and then we have x2 equal 0. Actually, because we have this uh, condition, so x squared plus 5x equals 0, to factor this or to find out, what we do is because x is common in both, so we factor x out, and then we write x x times x is x squared and then we write plus 5 equal 0 in these two cases so if we do this one x plus 5 equals 0 subtract minus 5 from both sides so it will be minus 5 the first one and then this is already x is equal 0 it doesn't have any other value so x is equal to 0 so that is what we got now let's try let's say we have a cubic function so again press 5 for equation after pressing mode and then 5 so we have for cubic we press 4 this is our equation we have a b c and the system is asking as well for d because we have 1 2 3 and then 4 value a that's a that's b for x squares that coefficient is b and then this is c and then d so i'm in a i press 2 and then equal sign b is 7 equal sign c is minus 17 equal sign and d is minus 10 i press equal sign i get some values so we get x is equal minus 5 x is equal x is equal minus 1 over 2 so we have three x's and these are the values now if you so meaning that if I for the first one if I add x uh, 5 to both sides so x plus 5 that will be the first one and then subtract 2 so meaning x minus 2 and for this one we have x is equal minus 1 over 2 so x plus 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 so x plus 1 over 2 if you multiply this you will get the same value thank you for your attention